What's going on VK family? It's your boy Vital coming at you with another review today of a very special collaboration of the Dorm Becker 5s that released on April 30th. On top of this being the Low Jordan 5, which is unique, these are super cool and have some dope details. So let's dive right in. <laughs> So before we dive into these super unique touches and details, we first gotta pay some homage to the designer and also learn a little bit about Dornbacher and its history. Since 2004, Nike and the Dornbacher Hospital have been thrown an annual event called the Dornbacher Freestyle, where the patients from the hospital, the younger ones actually, get to design Jordan sneakers and Nike sneakers. This year, we got the Jordan 5s and we got the Dunks. Looking specifically at the Jordan 5 model, this one was designed by an 11 year old boy called Michael Wilson and he has a huge love for mac and cheese and airplanes. So we'll see some of those touches on this sneaker, but I wouldn't be doing him justice if I didn't bring him up. So that being said, shout out Nike for releasing this super unique model, but more importantly, shout out Michael for having such an artistic mindset and letting us get something that comes straight from your heart. So let's dive right into Vital 3 Fish. So something you'll immediately notice about this silhouette is that it's a low cut Jordan 5. Something that's new to the community, but something that Nike is gonna keep pushing for the rest of the year. We know it for the Clot 5s releasing this year, but we also see it in the PSG 5s, which images were just leaked. Starting with the uppers, one of the first things that you'll notice is the blue toe box that also matches the material around the ankle. It's a very smooth, short haired suede, but what really catches the eye here is the monogram mac and cheese pattern. This reminds me a lot of like the LV monogram, however, just with his own little touch on it. And it really shows how much he loves it, right? And we see that again on the lace lock with the mac and cheese. Moving on to the mid panels of the sneaker, again, we see that short haired suede, this time with a very bright orange to contrast that blue. Then as you wrap around to the back ankle of the sneaker, you're also gonna get that really smooth, high quality suede, this time in a green. You'll notice on that green panel, we also have a tape flight embroidered into the sneaker. And another unique touch is the jump man that's embroidered on the back of the Jordan 5. This time, instead of saying Nike or Air, we get an MDW, the initials of Michael Wilson. And immediately on top of that, you'll notice a pull tab, which is unique to Jordan 5s, that says pull to eject, continuing to show his love for airplanes and jets. And when we look into that clear mesh, we'll also notice kind of that missile eye that we're very used to seeing on jets, maybe some vape, um, but again, it is based off his love of airplanes. On the other side of the mesh, you'll notice a Nike sign. It, they, they can't give it all to Michael, you know? <laughs> they gotta have some type of logo branding, so there it is. Moving down to the laces, we see a very deep royal blue that matches the toe box, except it's held in these lace holes that have a very vibrant green. It was very clear that Michael was into his colors and he definitely liked this multicolor look on his sneakers. To top off the laces, we also have a lace lock that's classic for our Jordan 5s, this time in more of an orangish red. The lace tips are also unique in that they're multicolored as well. And to finish off the uppers, you'll notice that the tongue is completely different from your regular Jordan 5s. We're used to that 3M usually, right? But this time we have a very blank Velcro, which when we dive into the accessories, you'll see exactly how that can be utilized. So moving down to the midsole, you'll notice that they're not white, they're actually sales. And Jordan Brand has been continuing to push that colorway because I think it just offers kind of a vintage look. You'll notice that the teeth of the flames that contrast on this midsole are a very solid red, which matches the suede that wraps around the toe box. Finally, moving down to the outsoles that are icy blue transparent, you'll notice that instead of your usual Jumpmans that are on the Jordan 5s, that Michael actually decided to switch it up as well. On the bottom of the right sneaker, we have a shark, which he was also very interested in and wanted to show his passion for. On the left sneaker, we have an hourglass. Can't tell you too much about that, but it's super dope. Finally, to wrap up all the unique details on this sneaker before diving into the accessories, we can look at these unique insoles as well. A very vibrant yellow. Again, we have an art piece that was made by Michael. And then of course, he's going to tie in those mac and cheeses once again towards your toes. So these are really cool. Hey, anytime we get some collaborations, any unique touches on fire. And the last thing we're gonna look at today is all the really cool accessories that the sneakers came with. Starting off with the extra laces, we get a very vibrant green that matches the other green on the sneaker, in case that's what you wanna rock for the day. One of the most customizable pieces and accessories that this sneaker comes with is the tongue tab. Like we looked at earlier, the tongue is actually Velcro, so that it could take all these different accessories that Michael decided to add as well. We get two hourglasses, two Air Michael tabs, two sharks, and finally two flaming skulls. 
So with all these different colors and designs that you can really customize on the tongue, you can get so creative with how you wear these every single time you pop out with them. Here's a quick little example of what I decide to play with. And so that's it on this very dope and unique collaboration on the Dornbacher Fives. And though there were so many details to cover, as you noticed, we were short, sweet, and to the point. So I know you guys got something out of this review. So what's the verdict, you two, on a very controversial Jordan 5? Is this a cop? Is this a drop? Is this a flip? Or is it a kick it to the curb? Make sure you let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to respond as soon as we can. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to see more content. And finally, if you're more interested in the Dornbacher dunks that released alongside with these, make sure you tap into that video so you can see it too. Till next time, VK family.